hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to introduce you to a brand new open source model which is also a mixture of expert olmo is an open source large language model that utilizes a mixture of expert architecture i already have covered some of the olmo models in the past so if you're interested just search the channel by going to my channel here and let me actually quickly show you because people keep asking us how to search it so just go to the home page of channel for example you want to search with olmo so just type olmo here and you can see that i already have covered olmo uh, in from various providers and stuff so have a look at there okay coming back to this new model now this model is a mixture of expert it has been designed to achieve state-of-the-art performance while being more efficient and cost effective in this video i am going to install it locally and then we will see how it works but there are a couple of things i wanted to cover first like what is mixture of experts and then there are some interesting things which are unique to this architecture so first mixture of expert is a technique used in deep learning where multiple expert neural networks are combined to improve performance in each layer only a subset of expert is activated for a given input making mixture of expert more efficient than dense models now this olmo model has uh, 1 billion active parameter but in total it has 7 billion parameter and that is why you see in the name that it says olmo 1 billion 7 billion so 1 billion means these are active parameters and 7 billion means there are the total parameters including this 1 billion so why is that so so this is what how this mixture of expert works active parameters are the number of parameters that are actually used or activated during inference for a given input so in this case we have 1 billion parameters that are active total parameters are in the model including both active and inactive ones so these are the 7 billion one in traditional models which are the dense models all parameters are active for every input whereas in mixture of expert selectively activate a subset of parameters reducing computational costs so there are uh, main, three main benefits of mixture of experts first it has improved efficiency and reduced computational cost it has faster training times it it is uh, in some cases i have found out that two times faster than dense llm when it comes to training it has a competitive performance with larger and more expensive models there are a lot of other things which uh, you can uh, check out on their model card and also they have released a paper so i will drop the link to it in video description and this is one more thing i really like about it is that how open this release is by them and this model is actually open source with a nice paper behind it and you can easily translate all of the uh, paper and stuff which they have given in the um, their uh, methodology and you can repl replicate it very very easily and that is what i really like about it okay i think enough talk let's go and try to install it and before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpu so do check them out this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy mast compute let me clear the screen as usual let's first up create the virtual environment with conda so the virtual environment is created next up let's install the prerequisites from the source like torch and transformers let's wait for it it is going to take three to four minutes all the prerequisites are done let's launch our jupyter notebook in the browser and this is where i'm going to download and play with the model in the browser environment and the jupyter notebook is launched let me import the libraries and then download the model plus the tokenizer let's do it and the model is being downloaded there are three shards of it and it seems there are first shard is five gig let's wait for it to finish and i'm also putting it on my gpu 
I don't think so. This is going to run on CPU, but so let's use the GPU while we have it. So the last shard is being downloaded. The size is around 14 gig. So make sure that you have that much space on your system. Okay, so everything is downloaded and loaded onto my GPU now. Let's do the inference. For inference, make sure that the prompt is in this format. And I, I am asking it, explain to me like I am 5, what is large language model. And then we are tokenizing it with the tokenizer, generating the output from the model. And then decoding it back and printing it out. So let's run it. And there you go. The answer looks quite good. The large language model is like a big helper that can understand and talk like a human. It's a computer program that has been trained on a lot of words and sentences. Imagine you have a toy robot that can talk to you. Amazing. Okay, that's a good answer, I would say. Simple, straight, and no frills. That is good. Let's try to ask it. Write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. Let's see how it goes. Most of the models, they get it wrong. And the model has come back and you can see that hardly any sentence except the first one has ended with word beauty. The prose is quite good. I mean, look at this. The, the way the stars twinkled in the night sky was a beautiful reminder of the vastness of the universe. So the English prose is quite good, but not only many of the sentences are not ending in the word beauty, but also there is no word beauty in few of the sentences, which is interesting. So I would say it's a fail, but still the English language is quite good. Let's try another one. So in this one, I'm asking it, how many R's are there in the word strawberry? This is another seemingly easy question, which most of the models are getting wrong, surprisingly. So you see, it says there are two R's in the word strawberry. So the word strawberry has one R in the first syllable and one R in the second syllable. Here is a background. The first syllable straw has one R. The second syllable berry has one R. So you see, it totally got it wrong. I don't know why, but uh, this is quite surprising. And many models just get it wrong. Okay, let's try out a math question. I'm just giving it an equa equation. So let's see if it can calculate. And there you go. So it seems that the math is quite good. It has done a logical chain of thought and then it has step by step solved it and it has reached on to the correct answer, which is 20. Cool. Let's try another logical question. Now in this one, I'm asking it that assume the laws of physics and I'll run it meanwhile. Okay. So I just need to make sure that I break it down in the proper quotes. Let me do that. Okay, now so check out this one. Assume the laws of physics on Earth. A small marble is put on into a normal cup and the cup is placed upside down on a table. Someone then takes a cup and puts it inside the microwave. Where is the ball now? Explain your reasoning step by step. So let's so let's see how it does the step by step reasoning. So look at the response now. And it takes its sweet time to come back, by the way, the model anyway. It says, when the cup with the marble is placed inside the microwave, several things happen. Microwaves are emitted from the microwave's mag magnetron tube. These microwaves penetrate the cup and the marble as the water molecules heat up. The heat generated causes the temperature inside the microwave. And then it is just going in a very, very nice scientific way. So what is really amazing is that it understands all the scientific nuances and then it is saying the marble will then fall out of the cup and since the cup is upside down, it will fall onto the table. So then it is giving the summary towards the end. Very nice. I really like the, I think reasoning is excellent. Really happy with the reasoning. Let's try out the coding one. So for the coding, I am asking it, show me a Python script that draws the Mendel broad set. That's, that's just a complex geometrical concept. So let's see what it does here. And there you go. So look at the response. It has produced a really finely written Python script where with matplot, with numpy, and then it is defining a function, drawing the mental plot perfectly awesome. And just because I have given it 512, so uh, max token output, but the program looks good. So coding is also, I would say excellent. So coding, reasoning, and this is awesome. Language is 
writing is good but i think some following the instruction in terms of language is not that great so all in all really good stuff especially the way they mm -hmm. have open sourced it because it's very hard to get a mixture of expert model fully open sourced out there uh, but now we have this one and i'm more than sure that now we will see more and more mixture of expert models out there because anyone can now replicate this so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching